Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. It's the end of the year. I hope everyone had a good year. Now that is not true for everyone I know, uh, but hopefully I can make your end of the year a little bit better. So today we are taking a look at uh, CPU undervolting slash how to reduce power draw slash temper stretchers while gaming or your productive task. Now this will be for the Ryzen CPU. If you have a uh, Intel locked CPU, there is no way you can uh, tweak with your frequency or your voltage. But however, if you have uh, unlocked slash K series CPU, uh, I'll put some values on your screen maybe. So you can take a baseline from there and do the same task or you can search another Intel K series guide on YouTube. So today I'll be using the Ryzen master utility, which is uh, known for its uh, versatility and uh, you know easy to access tool uh, i could have used the bios method but i currently don't have a second monitor or a capture card so i won't be able to show you bios method also bios method is very different like for every users if you have a different uh, motherboard vendor than me i have msi if you have gigabyte or asus then uh, your uh, bios system will be different and you will be confused but with ryzen master you will be able to do every task uh, same as me so if you scroll down in the page uh, i'll put the link in the description you will see two download links here one is for the 3000 series cpu and above one is for the 2000 series cpu and below i have ryzen 5 4500 so i have downloaded this one i have also installed this one uh, as you can see uh, i do recommend resetting the bios cpu especially the cpu part of the bios uh, if you want to use the ryzen master or it will have little bit difficulty matching up your uh, system and you know perform its task so when you first start uh, it will ask you for warning and etc etc click on ok uh, but when you start it for the first time you will get a view like this so what you need to do is click on the advanced view and you will also need to take a baseline of the cpu like how much your cpu can run at what frequency how much voltage your cpu can run at what frequency uh, for suppose i have now overclocked my cpu a little bit and i am right now running on 4.4 gigahertz sorry for the <laughs> brightness bomb uh, i am running on the 4.4 gigahertz and i will also show you my uh, cpu statistics so if you go down here i have already run the hw info and this is for the cpu package the cpu what and this is for the gpu package don't mind the gpu i have already uploaded on how to reduce the gpu power draw on channel if you have not watched that you can check it from the i button so today we will focusing on the cpu so the red is for the cpu package so it's right now on uh, 10 watt around and the cpu temperature you can also see below it 40 degree so we will run this cinebench which is cpu benchmark tool and we will go here now you can check uh, how much uh, power draw it's taking it's taking 68 69 watt nice 69 watt of power and the cpu will reach wait it's not refreshed yet and the cpu will reach uh, even more because 100 percent of the cpu being used the app is unable to refresh there uh, it's now reaching 67 degree the power is 67 and the mm, temperature is also 67 uh, all right temperature reached uh, 72 degree all right the test has completed now this is the like uh, baseline uh, not the baseline this is the without tweaking stuff uh, we got 69 watt of power and uh, 72 degrees of temperature on the cpu so after that uh, i do recommend resetting the bios so i'm going to do that and then come back to the ryzen masters updated list of rental games offline activation and some popular untried games is here feel free to pause the video choose your game come to discord and send message to the keep games buying channel all right i have resetted my bios uh, the cpu part uh, and come back to the ryzen master now if you open the first time uh, you will greeted with this kind of ui you will need to click on this advanced view before just inputting the value and blindly telling people uh, i want to tell you that uh, you need to take a baseline of your cpu like how much your cpu can push at what voltage uh, for suppose my cpu can push 4.4 gigahertz at 1.4 voltage so we will try to keep the cpu frequency as close as the highest with 
voltage getting a little bit lower uh, now if you have a older cpu than ryzen 3000 series i think you should be able to there are some undervolting value of popular ryzen cpus if you have an intel cpu you can try the later part or search google for details you get 4 gigahertz at 1.2 to 1.3 voltage range uh, but for safekeeping you can start it from 1.3 and then get down now how to do that i will show you that in this ryzen master so if you open it for the first time you will be greeted uh, with this now there is much more option i'm not going to tell you everything what is what what is not so this is the profile you can select and create your presets so i'm going to select this game mode uh, after that we will go to the manual mode in the manual mode uh, we will pan expand this ccd and we will click on this red crosshair type of icon by selecting this your all core will be binded to one slider if you scroll down up here all your cores will be go up down so as you have saw my cpu was running at 4.4 gigahertz at 1.4 volt so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce it a little bit so for suppose we're going to do 4.3 gigahertz uh, the voltage was at uh, 1.4 so we're going to reduce it to maybe 1.35 or so and then we're going to click on apply and test after i click on apply and test the system will uh, restart for one time so yeah <laughs> i'll just restart again and then come back all right i have uh, restarted my system again now I have entered the 4.3 gigahertz on the core clock and applied the CPU voltage to 1.35. Now I'll again hit apply and test and see how much uh, reduced temperature we are getting. Alright, now it's around the CPU wattage is around 47 to 46. Yeah, and the temperature has dropped to 58 degrees, 59 degrees or so. So we were getting around 73 degree on the CPU and uh, 69 degrees, 69 watt on the power. So it's a moderate amount of reduce in the power drop or the uh, temperature, but the core clock has not reduced very much, like only 100 megahertz. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind that don't enter just the values blindly have some brain like don't set the cpu gigahertz to 4.4 and don't set the values to below like 1.2 or 1.1 volt so have some brain i'll put some values on your screen for the ryzen popular ryzen cpus uh, but if you want to hit that sweet spot uh, you will need to get a little bit down that then uh, that so if your cpu can do 4.2 gigahertz max then you should use 4 gigahertz if your cpu can do 4.4 max then you should use 4.2 like my case my cpu can do 4.4 max so i'll set 4.2 and i have uh, tested many times and i have found that my cpu can run at very lower voltage at 4.2 gigahertz so i'll drop from 1.35 to 1.27 now i have tested my system to run 4.2 gigahertz at uh, 1.27 volt now that is not necessarily true for everyone uh, you could have a better cpu than me a worse cpu than me but yeah do try trial and error if your test is unstable uh, then ryzen master will show uh, level with that that test is not stable or maybe it will restart so you need to have some brain and put some like uh, true value like a good value which could be uh, good according to your cpu so i have set 4.2 at 1.275 and i'll again hit apply and test go down here and uh, i'll test the cpu package it's around 40 watt and the temperature is around 53 degree 54 degree so i have found that this is the worst case your cpu could go when your cpu being used at 100 percent like if you run a normal task for suppose a normal game which does not require much cpu task it will be even uh, lower than that so we will test a little bit heaven benchmark uh, with that i know it's not a game but it's still a graphical engine which uses your uh, gpu and cpu little bit so i'm going to run that and i will show a real world usage uh, you can also test my other game videos uh, in which you can see my cpu power draw but in this video we will test this one as it's easy to run so as you can see 
cpu is only taking 24 23 watt and the temperature is only around 49 so we have reduced from 70 to 40 degree now how much is that maybe 40 45 percent of temperature drop and uh, around 60 to 70 percent of tdp drop so yeah i hope uh, this video will help you the video really ends here uh, now if you think this video is helpful you can subscribe to the channel if you are facing any kind of issue or have any confusion like uh, about your cpu you can ask me in the comment section or ask me in the discord cpu overclock slash undervolting is very different than gpu because if you face gpu instability your graphics driver will crash but if you face cpu instability your pc will restart so have some brains uh use some common sense and you should be good to go so until then cheers